Hello! In this video, we're going to be building an accordion using the new accordion hints that are part of Sidegrinder 3.5. Now, to begin with, I just have a Photoshop document with a white background, and I've placed inside of it one boundary layer that has the accordion hint. You can see it there. Now, the accordion hint just tells Sidegrinder, hey, everything that's above me and within my bounds should be part of the accordion. There's only two types of layers that can be direct children of the accordion, and those are buttons and tab layers. Now the buttons, which I will start with, can be any sort of button you want. You can have layer group buttons, graphic buttons with hover and click states, text buttons that you customize in the design manager, any sort of Sightgrinder button will work at all. In this particular case, I have happened to have made layer group buttons, but they really could be anything. Now the names of these buttons must match to tabs, so I have a fax button and a fiction button. Then I'm also going to show some of the tabs that I've got. So I've got a layer group here that has a tab called Fax Tab. And this tab layer is also a boundary layer. It's within the bounds of the accordion. And it just tells Sightgrinder, hey, everything within my bounds that's above me in the layers palette, all of that stuff is part of this tab, part of the Fax Tab. And so there can be multiple layers that are part of the Fax Tab. Now that'll include every single layer up until it finds another tab, and so above this layer, I also have a Fiction tab, and the Fiction tab has different content that uh, um, it contains. So now my accordion is set. I have my accordion, my buttons, my tabs, I'm all set. Now there's two very important rules to remember when working with accordions. First, and this is the one that might trick you up, is that all the elements of the accordion must be visible on the layer comp where you want them to appear. It's very easy to turn off a layer group, such as this fax group and my fax tab, and not realize that it's not part of the, the layer comp anymore. Now, Sightgrinder, if it detects this, will warn us about this in the report. But just so remember that all the elements of the accordion must be visible on that layer comp, even though they often, in this particular case, they obscure one another. The second thing to remember is that every tab must have a matching button. So the Fiction tab has a Fiction button, the Facts tab has a Fact, um, fact button, and so on and so forth. Also notice that the tabs don't contain the buttons. The buttons do not go inside the tabs. So the buttons are in one part of the document. You can see here, uh, my buttons are up here, and my tabs, if I were to grab these layers, they're in the lower part. So the tabs don't contain the buttons. They are both independent children of the accordion. All right. So once this is set, all we do is we go ahead and we open up uh, Sightgrinder. It's going to scan that Photoshop file, check it, uh, make sure everything's OK, and it'll warn us if there's a problem. If there's a tab that's hidden that it doesn't know anything about, things like that. And after that, all you have to do is um, build it. Now, in this particular one, I built this a little bit ago, so let's just go ahead and take a look at it. And here it is. So now we have the, the buttons are both interactive. I can roll over them. They have their little rollover effects that I specified in Photoshop. And as I click them, then the tab opens up, uh, up and down. And you could have multiple buttons and multiple tabs, more than two, three, four, however many you want, just through limited by the space of the accordion. And that is one last point, is that the accordion and tabs are like panel layers, meaning that their content must fit within the accordion or tab itself. They can't exceed it. Neither the accordion or tab expand in the way that a column does. So hopefully this was useful, and uh, happy accordion making.